So, haven't got the derailleur on. Nothing is actually on. Here I'm just checking that the uh, alignment of the rear end is correct before we go and install everything and then tune it all in. And then if it isn't uh, straight or aligned, the gears won't work properly. And here we've got the misalignment. There's the gap. Down the bottom, there's no gap. So the frame out of the box is not aligned. So that wasn't too bad. The logic behind building this bike was that we actually got the tram force wide. Mm. Yep. Talk to me about wide versus sand. Uh, what's your feeling? Well, the thing is, wide range cassettes like this and smaller chain rings and one by systems have been in mountain bikes for a long, long time. Um, simplifies shifting, um, you get a much larger range so you have the ability to uh, have one cassette um, and, and go over a huge range of terrain. Uh, in the gravel realm this is uh, quite handy because you're going on stuff that will be steeper, uh, less if it's on dirt you're going to be on, have a lot less traction so you need smaller gears otherwise if the bigger gears you will just slip. Uh, as you're pedaling, the back wheel will lose traction. Um, so the wide range is exactly that. This one here is a 1036. Um, so you're going down from uh, a very, very small cog right up the way up to a 36. You didn't see things like this on road bikes ever before, and that was uh, regarded as quite a large mountain bikes not that long ago. Um, mountain bikes have now moved to 50 and 52s. This style of uh, group set will be ideal for a gravel realm. But we're running a 4330 here, not really what you're used to. The days of running a 5339 for the vast majority of people now is actually you know, very, very rare. Um, so we're getting uh, different gearing combinations which uh, will shift a little bit better and have a much uh, better range. This range is really for someone who aspires for, to some gravel uh, usage. Can you use this gearing on the road? Yeah, yeah, absolutely you can. If you're going out in a bunch, you will find that the, the gearing will be a little bit restricted in that top end, higher speeds. But how many bunches are going that fast that you need to outdo what this offers? I'm on a uh, 52 uh, one by chain ring on the front with on the rear, I'm running an 11 to 32 range. Um, so now the, the actual gear ratio of that gives you the same gearing as a double which is a 5236 on the rear to an 1128 which is plenty for Sydney plenty so a liberal amount of grease on the XDR driver body before we install the cassette now if you don't do this you'll find that cassette if done up too tight can seize and you'll struggle to get this cassette off yeah got a friend of ours who's done that recently David So, with discs, I'm wearing gloves for discs, anything with uh, brakes you should be using gloves, but the reason you wear gloves for uh, handling discs is there's oil in the pores of your skin that'll go onto the disc and can, can contaminate the pads if you have too much oil coming out of them. Yeah, you don't want a disc flying off. Bingo. Beautiful.
Only a little bit of drag. Not bad out of the box. We have to take a pause because it's 2020 and everything stops in 2020. No, we, we stopped because uh, we need a different bottom bracket. To, uh, no. Yep. Different bottom bracket to yep. what we had because we didn't know what frame I was building it to way back in February when I got the force axis wide. That's coming apparently overnight, but we'll see. And then um, I'm also waiting on some tyres that are due two days ago. And when they turn up, we'll uh, finish the build and um, go for a bike ride. Absolutely. Thanks, Anthony. Pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure working with you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, for those who didn't notice about a million logo placements, it's called VeloFix. It's in Roselle. It's on Darling Road. Darling Street. Darling Street. And you should come here because they do a very good job. A very good job. Ben. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Rob. Uh, no rest for the weekend. Next bike. <laughs> That's right.